okay so let's get started here we have uh, in front of me I have melted some clear melt and pour soap because I am going to be using this these molds if you can see them they are really tiny each one of the little mold weigh about uh, with liquid in about eight grams so I, I need to make about approximately 16 of these for the design I'm going to make a few more from from what I've been reading um, from several p from several of the art from several of the views is that the molds don't hold up well at least when it comes to chocolate but um doesn't mean it does does the same doesn't apply to soap making so what I am going to do is put the liquid soap in here and then apply it to the mold hopefully this is work if this doesn't work then what I'm going to use is a pipette because this takes so the amount of mic I need is very very tiny so what I am going to do now I'm just going to take a smidge of mica I'm using one of these very very small my, my amount of mica hopefully that's not too much and I am going to stir it up in here using this I'm going to stir it up. So I'm going to try this. I don't think that's going to work. Let me try it from here first. Let's get some here. That is not working. Let me get a pipette. Try on my pipette. And let's go from here. And this is going to be a long process, I can already tell. But it is what it is. Yes, this is a painstaking process. And I will not tell you I am the neatest, neatest soap in the world. And that's it for now. So I have to wait about 15-20 minutes for these to dry. Let's see. So it has been about 20 minutes, and let's take a look. Let's see if we got anything good here. And based on what I have been reading, these tend to be very fragile. So I'm hoping that's one. Two. These are tiny. Three. Okay, so this was my second go round. <clears throat> Let's see how well we did. So what I did this time is that I tried to scrape along the edges before it dried. And maybe I'll get a cleaner, uh, cleaner product. But these are super delicate. I might not be able to do the exact design I have planned. So let me finish this up. This one's not too bad. This didn't come out too bad. This one did not. Okay. But some of them are just falling apart. Oh, God.
Okay, so now I am back for part two, just real quick. Took a while to make them, but here are all the embeds. So there goes that. Took me, and unfortunately it took a couple hours. So now I'm gonna add in my mica, and I'm using this mica here from Nurture Soap. And normally it's a half of a, the normal is a half a teaspoon per pound of soap and uh, melt and pour. I'm using a little less and the reason is because I wanted to be I wanted to be I want you to be able to see through the soap so we can see the embeds so I'm adding this in so what I'm going to do now I have some strings to help guide me for as I am working with the embeds move these out the way and I am going to saturate the bottom of the mold with alcohol. The next thing I'm going to do is I am going to weigh out two ounces. Well actually, yeah, no I'm going to add weigh out four ounces of soap. I want these to be as even as possible. Okay. Okay, four ounces of soap. Now I'm going to add in a little bit of my essential oil blend. This is more lemon. Stir that up. So the goal here now, I'm going to use this as a. I'm going to use this my scale as a platform. Wipe that off real quick. Putting my mold here. Right now I only want to put two ounces of soap in here. So let's put two ounces in. It's about two ounces there. And so next I'm going to add in my embeds. But I use this the strings as a guideline. So I can have them about an inch of an inch apart and so I'm going to stand them up. And I have a little pattern I developed. So this is my first one. It's going to go in here. And hopefully it doesn't didn't go in the way I wanted it to. Darn, it fell. Kind of fell. So if I can get it to stand up a little bit. I knew this was going to be a challenge because these are not easy to work with. So that one, I got to take it out. Okay, I'm going to try, oops, another one. So I put my Try another one. I'm using my hands this time. Maybe it'll come out better. Cannot promise. So move back here. And if I put it right there, can it stand? I unfortunately these don't want to stand up. That one's pretty good. Okay, that point there. It's hard to get these to stand up. The next one and the two spot. So I'm looking at my pointer there may not be perfect the next one in the three spot here or the three inch mark here and let's see if I can get that to stay hopefully I can get it it's almost impossible to get these guys to stand up which was what I really wanted to do but if it doesn't want to stand that's not much I can do about that and See if I can get one more to stand in it. And one over here in the corner. If I can get it to stand up. Doesn't want to stand up. These a lot tougher to work with than I thought. But you know what? At this stage in the game, I've already spent a lot of time on this. And what I'm gonna do, I got the wiggles already. I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna squirt it again. 
I'm going to pour another two ounces of soap on top and hopefully it won't move it too much. It did and move that one. Let me see if I can get it back. Gently move it back. Um, hopefully this is not too tough on it. Over here, bring it back, bring it back in here. Not quite what I wanted. Let me see if I can make her move just a little bit here. I might get the wiggles in here. They're not going to line up the way I really originally wanted them to, but it is what it is. And it depicts strong women. Okay. I have no idea how this is going to look and I'm squirting again and I am going to wait 20 minutes 15 20 minutes then I'm going to put another two ounces on top then layered it again with something else and let's see what happens one space two will start a little differently after I pour the two ounces of um, soap here then for space to start here, I'm going to have space here, another little one here, one here, right? This right here is just too close to that edge. Let me see if I can move it without destroying it. I don't know if I can. I'm trying to get it over there. Right. Hopefully when I cut it, when I cut it, I'm looking here and here. So when I cut... I want to make sure it goes within the cutting without me destroying it. If I can bring him down just a little bit. I don't know if he will move. Just a little bit. He is okay. Okay. A little more alcohol. I have no idea what the inside of this thing is going to look like. But, it's the first time I'm doing it. Should be fun. So now I am ready for layer two. And uh, I add just a little bit of a formula here, or right, the, the blend, yeah. And I'm going to stir a bit to mix it up well. And we're good here. Tear this. Put this one here. Looks pretty good. I'm going to tear it, and we're going to squirt again inside here really really well because I want to make sure this adheres I'm praying that it adheres even along the sides okay and I am going to pour in my first two ounces is here and two ounces pretty even okay there and now I'm gonna lay in my second layer which is here Cross here is tight. One, let me see. Am I, am I end with them? My boundary lines. One and two. I think when I take this out, I'm gonna skew it just for those lines 
here we're doing okay and one more over there Now we are going into our third layer. Okay, I'm down just a little bit. Okay, I got it there. One and two, three. Okay, and the last of the, and I have one more layer after this and that'll be it with that. So this is, we're coming down to the end. So I don't even remember where, Put this here. They're falling. And this are the end, so not much I can do at this point. Get the little soaps to stand up. It was a lot more difficult than I thought it was going to be. So leave it there for the next 20 minutes or whatever. And <laughs> then I'll come back and clean I'll clean off my mess and I'll do a cut. Let's see what, how know how well it does. Don't know yet. It is cutting time, so I am going to cut. First thing I want to do, remember these little lines here? I have these lines to help guide me, so what I am going to do here, I'm going to score these to help me make sure that I can stay within that parameter. I think one of the things fell over, so it's going to be off just a little bit. I'm gonna take a knife here and just make some lines to get me started. little elbow grease to get the soap out of the mold that's nice and clean so what let's take a look at the soap before I actually do the cut well you can see the little gray colored supposed to be like weight thingies there okay okay uh, it didn't come out no you can see here, but we can't see the different pieces of weight. Make me sad. So, well, it happens. It's supposed to be like a weight thing in there, but it's not there. Get out of the way. Let me see if I come out better here. Maybe one of the other ones will come out. Ah, this came out a little better so here goes the weights I guess if I beveled it down you can see a little better here goes the last two This one came out better. This is better. Right? I really like this bar. And the final. Let's take a look at you. And there we go. Not as well. Well, you can see this one. But as you begin to use it, you would see it more. I guess if I... No, I don't want to even cut them in half. I'm going to leave them just like this. This is called Strong Woman. The thing too is that 
we can't always see her strength but it's there here 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 there we go strong woman thank you for watch oops here we go strong woman okay Thank you for joining. This is Vanessa from Dayganya Aromatics. Natural products for the three dimensions of you. You are a spirit. You have a soul. You live in a body that is fearfully and wonderfully made. Uh, be safe. Be abundantly blessed. And I will see you on my next video. Bye-bye for now. <music>